going to talk about Vietnamese family chi. Firstly, I want to explain some about the diagram. As you can see, there are two colors for the test. The red I use for the female and the black is for male. Also, there are two sides for the diagram. The left side is for father's side and the right is for mother's side. Now I'm going to talk about details. It's me here, a lovely flower. Toy. I have two brothers and two sisters. My older brother is Ang. My older sister is Chi. My younger brother is M. Chai. Chai means male and his wife is M Zo Zo is used for sisters in law. My younger sister is M Gai Gai means female and her husband is M Re Re is used for brother in law. Now stop to reveal. My younger sister has two children. The son is Chao Chai. The daughter is Chao Gai. This way of calling is the same with the children of my younger brother or my older sister or my older brother if they have children. Let's stop to review. Move to my mother's side. My mother's brother is Gao, and his wife is Mo. My mother's sister is Zi, and her husband is Chu. Stop to reveal. In my mother's side, my grandfather is Ông Ngoại. My grandmother is Bà Ngoại. My great grandparents are Gu Ngoại. Gu Ngoại. My great grandfather is Gu Ông. My great grandmother is Gu Bà. Stop to reveal. My father's sister is Gu. No matter she is older or younger than him. The younger brother of my father is Chu and his wife is him. The children is M Ha. The older brother of my father is Bak Chai and his wife is Bak Gai. The son is Ang Ha and the daughter is Chi Ha. Now stop to reveal. In my father's side, my grandfather is Ông Nội. My grandmother is Bà Nội. My great grandparents are Cụ Nội. Cụ Nội. My great grandfather is Cụ Ông. My great grandmother is Cụ Bà. Stop to reveal. To end this lesson, I would like to remind you one thing in Vietnamese culture. That is, if you see your aunt in the father's side, you should say Chào Cô. Or in the mother's side, you should say Chào Zi. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Tạm biệt.